This might be the most important news from the industry of bus and coach in modern times from Europe. Behind me, we have the Generation E from MIN, the MIN Lions Coach 14E. Right now, I'm in Ankara at the development center for MIN Buses and Coaches. And this is a brand new facility with a test track, development center, and a big office building. And the most important here today is the vehicle behind me. It's the world premiere of the prototype of the MIN Lions Coach 14E, the first ever produced e-coach from a European manufacturer. has never ever been showed to anyone before and we were not supposed to even film here today but we are and we are showing you for the first time ever the e-coach from MIN. So for the first time in my life I'm standing in front of an e-coach produced by a European manufacturer. And what we see right here now is not the final design on the coach. Right now, it looks like the Lion coach, like we are used to with the diesel engine. But in bus world, we will see it with a brand new design. And I will now enter this coach for the very first time. <laughs> the best driver. Always. Wow. After, after you, my dear. <laughs> Hello. Oh, nice hi. to see you again. Nice to see you. How, How are you? you? So now we will get a little demonstration of Heinz, and I'm very excited to be a passenger in this vehicle. Oh, I have to fasten my seatbelt. Listen, the sound levels are so low. So now we're entering the test track where we will be able to test drive this vehicle ourselves. Cannot wait to be behind the steering wheel on this coach. As I can see, the interior is exactly like the diesel version of the Alliance coach. Comfortable seats, but the one thing we miss is the vibration and the sound of a diesel engine. The future is here. So now we're stopping in a downhill and we're trying to reverse. <laughs> so like a roller coaster launch. <laughs> so this is not even the performance mode. This is only the efficient mode. <laughs> so first part of the experience is done. I will change the seats and jump into the driver's seat. Oh. I haven't been this excited to sit behind the steering wheel of a coach for I don't know, forever maybe? First of all, adjust the steering wheel. We can see how it is, just to be quick. We know that MIN have a very flexible steering wheel. And look at this, it's really good. I'm, I'm really excited. I probably only have four minutes to do the whole test, so I will speak probably too fast and everything. It's enthusiastic, so I really hope that you will feel that as well. <laughs> the crazy thing is now that the vehicle is on, but there is no sound, not anything in the vehicle. No vibration, nothing. I have to check in the display, but it stands a letter on. So it means that I'm good to go. So I will just put it into drive and I hear this small little buzzing, which means I can release my handbrake. The handbrake is here to my right and I will drive my first meters ever with a European manufactured electric coach. <laughs> Oh my God, this is very smooth. So now I'm driving on the test track here in Ankara. It's mostly right turns, so I can at least ensure that the vehicle can turn to the right. I'm now in 60 km per hour. This is what my legal speed limit is now on the track. And there is absolutely no sounds on board. The only thing I hear is my own heartbeat pumping because I'm very, very happy to drive this vehicle as one of the first people in the world. Inside of the vehicle is what we will see on the finished product, but everything outside will change. This is just a prototype. They just used this vehicle to show us all the technology that we have below the coach. In this vehicle, we have six battery packs. The standard edition will come with only four and all the batteries will be in the back part of the vehicle where the diesel engine normally is. But if you have five or six battery packs, the extra batteries will be in the compartment where the driver cabin normally was. So you lose that capacity if you have six battery packs, but you will have a full luggage compartment in this vehicle. So you don't lose any of the luggage compartment that you would have in a regular diesel coach. So if you buy the standard version with only four batteries, you can still buy 
extra batteries later on in the lifetime of the coach. So you can have either five or six batteries in total. So now we're driving into a little hilly area just to test drive the feel of the vehicle in a hill. And I have to say it's so stable and good to drive. The only thing I need to adapt to is when I release my foot from the pedal, it starts recuperating energy. It's not the one pedal drive, even though a man can deliver it to the customer. But for me, I like it when it rolls out and I can activate this with the retarder, which is not a retarder in this vehicle. It's more an active recuperation of the energy. So now we will climb up 18% and I will make a stop just like Heinz did on the demonstration. And we will see how good this vehicle will just accelerate out of the hill. So now we're standing, release the brakes. Now Tom is behind the camera. He has to hold on, feel this. I don't think you can do that with a diesel coach. Fantastic. Okay, I will try the recuperation on the stick here. We have two step, three step, and let's see. Oh, it's quite rough for the three step, and it completely goes down to three kilometers per hour. It doesn't stop you, but it goes all the way down to three kilometers per hour. So that's a quite efficient recuperation on this uh, handle. What I can see that differs from the diesel version that we have a tiny bit new information and display. To the left we have the speedometer, it's more modern design on it. In the middle you see your range and to the right you will have the power meter and there you will see how much energy you are using or recuperating while driving. We have digital mirrors, two on each side, one standing mirror and on the top we do have the wide angle. Inside we have a regular mirror so I can have control of what people are doing in the vehicle so I don't, for example, close the door while people are exiting the bus. And there is also one great wide angle mirror to the right so I can see what happens in the blind spots in front of the vehicle. And this coach have a range of 650 kilometer <laughs> in one charge. And you have CSS2 charging system on this coach, three points where you can charge. The one that's always standard, that's above the front axle to the right. You can also have one on the left side of the vehicle and you can also have a charging point above the third axle on the right side of the vehicle. But now my time is up. I need to give the wheel to another driver, but I'm so happy I have been able to drive the first MI Lion coach 14E in the world ever made. And then I'm really excited to see the final version of it on Buzzworld in October. And if you like today's content, please subscribe to our channel and also follow us on TikTok and Instagram for a lot of reels and shorts. I'm ready to drive. And as you can hear, there is more noise that we normally don't uh, hear in a diesel bus because of the vibration and the sound from the engine. But here you have a little bit noise from the fan. And right now it's because of the battery cooling systems. When we are driving up hills, down hills so much as we do and um, using the coach uh, hard, then the battery has to cool down. I really feel like I could take this with me home right away. This is so amazing to drive this one and you have 100% control over it because it's like driving a train. <sighs> Fun experience with the brakes. Okay, but that's it's a prototype. So uh, I had a feeling that I lost the brakes for uh, two seconds. <laughs> I was expecting the electric engine in the axle, but it's not. This has a central place motor and it's a 330 kilowatt motor with a four speed gearbox. And you can really feel the gear shift because when you start from zero, you have a short moment where the gearbox is changing from first to second gear and uh, you feel it in the coach. And then after that, you have no feeling of a gear shift. So it's just when you start from zero, you have this uh, Feel. This is also one of the few manufacturers that are using the CO2 Klima system, the HVAC. And that's also a heat pump. So it means that it can heat or cool very easily and with low consumption from, uh, from the batteries. Now I have been driving this for a couple of minutes and uh, I have no negative things to say at all. It's just positive. I really made a product that will fit the market in Europe 100%. You still have problems to charge the bus when you have a long distance uh, driving with passenger like tourists going from hotel to hotel. What I'm afraid of that you are driving the passenger to the hotel and then you have to drive like in half an hour to a charging uh, station 
you have to wait for the bus to charge before you can go back to the hotel. We need to find a solution to get more infrastructure on place. You have to find a solution who is paying for the infrastructure. The hotel don't want to take all the cost. So there is so many questions that we still have to answer. But for this one, to drive like an airport coach, like a tourist coach in the city, in the, around the city, and also intercity use, it's perfect. And this serial production will start in the end of 2026. So the first lucky customers will get this coach in about a year in the mid 2026. Thank you so much for watching the video here today. If you like what you see, click down here. The button is called subscribe and then you will see all the future videos from us in Bus Magazine. Until next time, drive safely. Have a great day.